northern part of the greatest freshwater lake in the world, Lake Superior, offers you the opportunity to experience some of the most pristine Canadian wilderness areas. Pakasaw National Park is such an area. In driving to Pakasaw, you get a glimpse of the breathtakingly beautiful nature waiting for you to be explored. Access Pakistan via the park's only entry station at Hattie Cove. Entry into the park is via a single 37 miles long coastal hiking trail that unfortunately ends halfway through the park. Hattie Cove is a very scenic area that gives you a taste of the even more beautiful nature waiting for you to explore if you venture out on the coastal hiking trail. While staying in the spacious Hattie Cove campground, you can comfortably enjoy the nice beaches and the wildlife and unique ecology of the protected sand dunes in the campground area. The trail from the campground is the most traveled part and is easily followed all the way to Shigami Winnegum Falls which can be visited on a day trip with scenic outlook over Hattie Cove and Plata Inlet where you will find a sheltered little cove where you can set up camp. The suspension bridge at Shigami Winnicom Falls gives you a good view of the Roaring White River. A very nicely located campsite close to the falls can be reached by a side trail. Highly recommended. The campsite further away near Hook Falls is not very inviting. 
It is located in a damp, shaded area offering little chance to dry your clothes if needed. However, it has a bear-proof container for your food which is important. The trail from Hook Falls is more strenuous but finally brings you out to Lake Superior after a long walk and you will get to a lovely long sandy beach area at Willow River, a really nice place for camping. Once you get to the Willow River, you get recharged in the beautiful scenery along Lake Superior and are eager to explore what the rest of the trail will reveal for you. After passing the Willow River Suspension Bridge on the way towards Morrison Harbor, the trail becomes more challenging. Mostly you do not actually see a trail, but only get a general direction by canes placed within visual distance. Often you will have to negotiate rock faces and walk on very uneven ground and climb more large tree trunks washed up on the shore. You may at times wonder if it's all worth it. However, once you reach the Morrison Harbor area, you are totally swept away in the pristine, emotionally uplifting, sheer, natural beauty of this place. You are no longer in doubt about if it was all worth it. After Morrison Harbor, you again encounter parts of the trail challenging to walk. But now you are conditioned and used to it and can fully enjoy the beauty of this very rustic, undisturbed nature area. The biggest chance of getting in trouble is not from a bear attack, but from hurting yourself on the trail. Being well informed and smart can save your skin and broken bones. For example, in passing a waterway by impulsively uh, trying to use a beaver dam as a bridge may not be a wise thing to do. Chances are that you will fall waist deep into pure mud, or worse, permanently lose a shoe which is not a very good situation to be in. 
By doing a little bit of exploring, you may find, as I did, that the beaver dam encountered on the trail can be avoided. You can easily pass downstream from the dam and without getting in trouble. When traveling a wilderness trail, it's best to not to rush. If things look very difficult, you may be going in the wrong direction. Just stay calm, backtrack and try a different route. In coming to Fish Harbor after several days of hiking, you are probably more in tune with nature than starting the hike and more observant of the beautiful wildlife you are likely to see in the Fish Harbor area. The stretch from Fish Harbor brings you inland away from Lake Superior for a long distance. It is therefore most refreshing to come to the magnificent Osai Bay area. It is a truly unique experience to be on a large sandy beach with no other shores in sight and knowing you are in the middle of a large Canadian wilderness area many days away from roads and other man-made structures. The coastal trail is not a very commonly traveled trail. You may even in the midst of the summer not see anybody for days. Pakaso is uh, more popular among kayakers. Pakaso is uh, one of the most, if not the most, scenic area for kayaking in Lake Superior. However, you need to be an experienced kayaker, be well informed and plan your trip very well to safely kayak this area. If you do it right, your Pakasaw kayaking tip will be a most fantastic experience you will never forget.